In today's video, I'm going to be talking about an interesting topic, and that is the future of remote work. So obviously the pandemic has presented us with a bit of an issue. Um, going into the office is no longer and a lot of companies have been forced to move their teams remote. So we are going to be talking about what this is going to look like in the future in terms of hiring and recruiting process for applicants. So let's get started. The first point that I want to make is that technology proficiency is going to be extremely important, even more so than it already is. And you can probably figure why, but it's because you obviously cannot have a technology department in your house. You need to be able to troubleshoot, to hop on to remote conferences such as Zoom calls, um, Google Meet, everything like that. You need to be able to use virtual communication tools such as Slack. Um, all of those kinds of things. Trello is another really popular one. So it's really important that you are proficient in the basics of technology so that you're able to hop on a team um, and kind of train yourself with the technology that they want you to use so that you can become um, an effective communicator. The next point I'm going to talk about is that employees need to be self-motivated. And this is actually going to be a big change because as you know, if you're used to going into the office, you obviously have a team, maybe you have a team leader, a supervisor, manager, boss looking over your shoulder, checking in on you, seeing how you are making progress on a project. But when you're working from home, you don't have that. So you have to be self-motivated to get out of bed, sit down at a desk and really focus on your work, making sure you're hitting all of your deadlines, that you're meeting the expectations and so on. You need to be able to problem solve in so many different ways, such as finding a quiet space um, in your house to take calls and be professional. You need to troubleshoot your laptop if you're having technology issues, if you're having issues with coworkers, you can't just go to HR, you need to um, advocate for yourself via technology and just knowing the resources that your company offers. Um, or even if you just get stuck on a certain part of your project, you're going to need to problem solve to get yourself out of it. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is setting boundaries. And this is so important because working from home can be a very big problem for some people for setting boundaries because you can really get burnt out so easily. This is especially true if you are making really weird hours for yourself, if you're sleeping in, working really late at night, if you're working all the time. We are used to working our nine to fives and kind of leaving work at work, coming home, making dinner, enjoying our families and hobbies outside of work, but this obviously becomes more difficult when working and home life combine. So it's important to set boundaries that you can continue to be productive in an efficient and effective way and that your creativity isn't lost. The next thing I'm going to talk about is effective communication. This is definitely going to be something that recruiters are going to be looking for in applicants. Um, are they able to effectively communicate virtually? Are they able to come across well in emails, in video calls? Are you able to get your point across? Are people able to understand what you're saying? You know, you're getting your thoughts together in a way that is easy to understand. So this is definitely going to be something that recruiters are going to keep an eye out for if you are someone who is, um, you know, quick to respond to emails, just easy to get a hold of. And the next thing I'm gonna talk about is that working from home and working remotely is going to promote more diverse teams, which is such a unique and awesome opportunity. Um, teams are going to be able to collaborate with members from all across the globe, quite literally. Whereas if you um, are used to working in an office in a big city, it's usually people from you know that city who live there, even if they moved there, um, that's their you know place of residency, but now you're going to be able to experience different cultural norms and values and um, get different perspectives on projects. And this is definitely going to be something that is going to come up you know in interviews and this would be something great to talk about in your cover letter too, um, or just asking questions during your interview about, you know, how teams are going to be diversifying and how we're going to get different talent globally. This is really going to be the future of remote work. The next thing I'm going to talk about is remote conflict resolution. This is really important because it can be difficult to not solve problems face to face and solve them over the phone. I'm sure if you have siblings, a parent, significant other, 
you know, it's easy to just kind of put down your phone and let it be for a little while, but you can't do this with work. Obviously, you can't go ghosting your boss or your coworkers. So it's very important to be able to um, resolve conflict, even if it is over the phone. So if you're having a miscommunication over email, offer to jump on a call, you know, things like that. Um, but those skills are going to be even more essential than they were before. And the last point I'm going to talk about is video conference etiquette. This is going to have to become common knowledge. Um, you know, having a professional background, wearing professional clothing, having your full head in the frame, um, turning your mic off when you aren't speaking, things like that. It just needs to kind of come second nature. You shouldn't hop on to your first Zoom call and be the only one, you know, in a hoodie with um, your kids running around and your dogs in the background. Um, it's just, you know, not the place and time and we have to make sure to keep it professional even when we are working remotely. So those are my tips for how remote work is going to look like in the future and how you can prepare yourself as an applicant. Um, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more helpful content and check out our blog.